Warning, the following video contains strong language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. <clears throat> Why hello, it's me again, Damien Gatto, here to present another reaction video. Now this one's basically another video by a Nemoso that, we're react that I'm reacting to today. Basically sort of a Rule 34 art review. But besides that, um... Hope you enjoy it. Let's have fun. Get this party started. And what we're about to see here by the most so is. Velma Dinkley and me, Overwatch. The second one is Furry Waifus. And the other one is Bulma Brief. Boy, we would, lo we would all like a little Bulma in us. But besides that. Let's have fun, get this party started. Now without further ado, let's up a go. Bulma is the sole reason I grew up with a thing for nerdy girls, just saying. I'm just saying, Velma could get it. I'm just putting that out there. Something about a hot, a, something about a hot nerdy girl with an IQ higher than mine is just attractive. Just saying. I mean, as a kid, I know. I, as a kid, I know a lot of people were looking at Daphne, but I was the one staring at Velma when I was a kid. Time to work on some multiplication. Never mind. But I have to say, whichever artist did these, they were great and it's all on point. I'm just saying. They knew where to put the curves in just the right places. I'm just saying. Awesomely well done. Oh, now me from Overwatch. Well, I will admit, when I first saw me from Overwatch, which, don't get mad at me, but I have never played Overwatch. I know about the characters, but I have never played it, only because that I haven't really gotten around to getting the game. Just saying. But besides that, when I first saw the character me, I was like, oh yeah. I'm just saying, she's hot too. Just saying. Hot with just the right amount of curves. And I will say this artwork is on point too. I mean, it's awesomely well done. in a schoolgirl outfit. I can dig it. Now 
Well, that's just hot on so many remote levels. I mean, this character is hot no matter what she's wearing, I'm just saying. Hmm, a threesome between me, me, and Velma. Crap, I shouldn't be thinking about this on camera. Never mind. Okay, now we're into the furry waifus. Well, that's one sexy pachyderm. And yes, I'm staring. Don't ask me to color of her eyes. I will say, whoever came up with Pokemon Furry was a genius. Milk and cookies? It depends what milk are you serving. Giggity. Never mind. You have to give it to these artists. They sure know how to make some sensual artwork, I'm just saying. All I can say about that one is... Woof. It's just times like this, I'm proud to be a furry. That's one hot Fido. Okay. I'm trying to resist the urge not to say something filthy and perverted. Control. <laughs> That's one hot pussy. So much canine furry, so little time. Besides the curves, I do like the futuristic look on this one. Curves, futuristic look, awesome. <laughs>
Well, I'm going straight to E621 after this. I'm trying to think, is that a red panda? Looks like it. Hmm, hot. Crap, it's Curvy Luna. I've seen regular artworks of Luna, but nothing like this. Give me one sec. And now I am back. Giggity. Curvy, cur curvy Luna and another Curvy Luna and Curvy Luna. Wow. If I didn't bring it up in my past videos, I am a brony, I am a furry, and I am also a big watcher of the anime. And I've read some manga. But besides that, I'm just saying, so all of this is going to get a reaction out of me. That ass, though. Wow. Nothing hotter than a lady in a tight workout out. Nothing like a lady in a tight, hot workout outfit. Wow. Wolf. Giggity. Whoever made this is sure a fine connoisseur of the canine furry. Just saying. Well, I like the way that I like the direction this one's going in. Well, furry mouse. Nice. I like both of these for multiple reasons. Send me to teen send me to detention, teacher. I've been a naughty boy. I need to put a lid on myself.
Now on to Bulma Brief. Vegeta, why are you complaining? I would want to be set on by Bulma. Only she can make a tight jumpsuit look sexy. Well, there's also April O'Neil, but that's besides the point. I'd probably be Master Roshi as well in that picture. All I can say is dead ass. <laughs> Look at Vegeta's face there. I mean... <laughs> I mean, whoever did these had their Bulma artwork on point. I'm just saying. Oh, my Dragon Balls. Okay, that joke might have been tasteless. Yeah, I think it was referenced to in one episode of Dragon Ball Super that Bulma was using the Dragon Balls repeatedly to keep herself looking younger, which all the power to her. Okay, I draw the line at I draw the line at licking. Why would someone want to lick the foot? I don't get it. I mean... Never mind. I enjoy how sh I, I enjoy how this person is censoring this stuff with an OKKO OK character. Bravo! But besides that, this was by another than Animoso. Great channel, be sure to check them out. And I have to say, this was some finely well done artwork. And I hope you all didn't mind my dirty commentary. I mean, I'm just saying, I can't help it sometimes. But besides that, um, be sure to check out Animoso's channel. Great channel, be sure to check him or her out. I don't know. Don't want to start assuming genders here. But besides that, um, check out their channel. Awesomely well done. 
But also check out my channel, Damien Gato Reactions. Also be sure to check out my other channel, Damien Gato Gameplays. Also check out my Twitch. I recently got done with a Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach gameplay there. Also, um, be sure to leave me comments or any videos that are in the description down below. And when it comes to my BitTube channel, I will get back to that as soon as I can. I've just been kind of tied up with certain things. But besides that, hope you have a nice spin to stay. Hope you all take care and still stay classy.